Hey everyone, welcome back. Welcome back as always. And thank you for joining me on another spectacular video of another super spectacular and rare toy. And as always, before we get rolling, get comfy. I'm getting more uh, comfortable in this museum setting using this platform here, this little table. And uh, I'm still on a flip six box in a Cutie Orange is holding the back of the camera and some Gorilla Glue is holding the front. I'm still too lazy to set up the tripod and I'll get there eventually. But before we get rolling, do me a favor and get comfortable. Grab your steaming cup of coffee or your hot tea. Or if it's the evening, man, get comfy with a little scotch and soda or an old fashioned, some rum and coke and the uh, Jägermeister shot, whatever it is, some wine, the wine moms, you know, get your wine, get your white Zinfandel, your rosé, whatever the hell it is, and get a snack in hand. Uh, not my cutie tangerine, because I'm going to have to eat it, unfortunately. I don't think I bought lunch today. I'm actually trying to wake up with some Snapple tea peach, 160 calories of sugary goodness. In fact, let me take a sip before... I continue. I didn't take my vitamin B today, so I feel like I'm already dragging. It's only like 11.30 in the morning as I'm doing this, but it is what it is. So I finally got a minty Captain Hook dead minty in the box, as mint as this can be from, I believe, the 50s. I'm pretty sure it's the 50s, although his um, illustration on the box could be 60-ish. I'm not positive, but I, I'm going to say it's 50. So let, let's start with this cool box. And you got Hook here. Reminds me of like Yosemite Sam as a pirate on his treasure chest. And he's like, come at me, bro. Come at me. He's got his gun and he's got his hook claw. And look at that black pearl in the background. See now, like to me, right, wasn't Captain Hook part of the Peter Pan story? I mean, like, rather than have a crap company like Disney make, uh, you know, a Pirates movie, man, just get these toys. Where are the creatives out there? You can make your own good cultural moments. Make a, uh, a pirate movie from Captain Hook here with his smoking pistol. I wonder if he's still smoking, by the way. And that doesn't mean the pistol is smoking. It means the smoke is emitted from uh, the pistol. <laughs> And look at him here. Like, who is he shooting? I mean, shouldn't there have been some um, <clears throat> some foe over here, maybe, that he took out with his with his uh, gun? Some nemesis? Was it Jack Sparrow? And anyway, uh, what does this say here? Why? Oh, toy. T O Y. It took me a while to figure it out because I'm like, this is a Marisan toy. So what? What um, logo is that? But it just says toy now. <clears throat> Excuse me. This toy was uh, obviously in uh, Italy because look, it has a Genova label. And Genova makes some great tuna, man. I'm telling you, if you want some awesome tuna, you have to buy, like, as a matter of fact, look, I'm going to show you something. Hold on. Now this isn't this isn't the Ventresca, which is my go-to, but I keep that at home. But at the museum, I even keep like this. They have this in a red label. This is the Ventresca tuna. Now this is from uh, where did they pack this, or where did they catch it? I think this is Spanish. Usually it says here. I'm sorry to deviate, but anyway, does it say here? Huh. I'll figure it out. But anyway, this is your go-to tuna. This and the red Ventresca, man, it melts in your mouth. Tonino. Now, the other one is, um, what's the Italian tuna? Oh, now the, the name escapes me. But it's so awesome. If, if you're willing to spend the money, and look, the, um, the, the uh, price of regular tuna has gone up anyway, so it might not be that much of a disparity in the prices. So anyway, I'm, I'm just advocating for good food. But I believe uh, Tonino is Spain or Portugal? Portugal. So anyway, 
that's my advocacy for good food because I'm telling you, if you buy that canned crap, it's good for the canned stuff is good if you at least get the fancy white albacore, solid albacore is good for tuna salad. But this, the fillets on good, you know, like a good piece of bread, Italian bread or sourdough or French baguette, man, it is delicious with some lettuce, salt and pepper. Mm. Anyway, okay, so enough of the enough of the food plug. And I own no stock in Tonino. I don't even know where the hell they're from. I'm still looking at it. So, hmm. Yeah, still couldn't find. Anyway, so here is Hook. Now, the only thing is he's missing his hat. Now, the good thing is somewhere in, you know, a million boxes that I have, I do have the hat for Captain Hook. That's why I stepped up to the plate and probably overspent a little bit to get this. But, you know, and look, he's still got his price tag here. How often is that? O often. It's not often that it's on the uh, tag, and it's pretty awesome that it's on there. One of the things about this toy, besides the hat missing, and I hope I find mine, because then it'll be 100% complete. Now, you do have a little bit of staining from the glue. That's why, um, you know, tip, when you have a box and it has a little... Uh, tear and you're like well let me put a piece of tape on it and uh, you know I'll just repair the corner that way I mean the problem is that the adhesives will have that acidic reaction to the cardboard eventually this will bleed through and stain your box so that's why you don't want to do like paper repairs with tape because the adhesives are a no-no now as far as the toy you want to make sure it has this awesome sword and his hilt and the belt. Those are two critical things if you're going to step up and pay top dollar. Now, eventually, I'll put this in my monster case. In fact, after this video. But you can see here he has um, this cool belt with the skull and crossbones. And almost like a bandolier belt with a lot of big, fat bullets on there. And, of course, his hook. Sometimes this is even missing. And his... Uh, his chest here, his lithograph chest. Look, this handle almost looks three-dimensional. Has the, I guess this is a toy logo. Look, toy made in Japan and the Marisan logo there. And there's your switch. The bottom is just nothing to write home about. And in between his legs, look, there's his crotch. The sword looks like it's covering his crotch. If it was that... Black Panther Wakanda, and it was a Namur, <laughs> Namur, Amore for Namur. Uh, Disney would be, oh, what did they do? They CGI'd out his, his crotch bulge. You can't make this stuff up. Why are you like CGI, CGI-ing out a, a dude's bulge? That doesn't make any sense to me, but oh, it is what it is. So anyway, um, without further ado, let's turn this puppy on and see if he works, all right? So in three, two, one. Ooh, I see the smoke. Let me dim the light. I don't know if you are seeing the smoke. Let's see if you, oh, there we go. Ah, oh, now you can. Oh, I love the smell of that oily smoke. You're talking to me? Well, not that much though. <laughs> How cool is that? How freaking cool is that? Anyway, let me let me keep him down so I can put him back in the... Well, I'm not going to put him in the box. So, you know what? Let him raise his gun. You know, I, I, I don't remember if the head was... Uh, you know, I used to have this toy before. And I don't recall if the head lit up. But I, I guess not. It doesn't indicate that anywhere on the video. So, I'm assuming it doesn't. But anyway, my friends, that is your awesome, rare, desirable Captain Hook, a toy that can go, I think um, Smith House Toys once sold this for crazy money. I think it went for like $13,000, something insane like that, Twelve to 13000 So thankfully, I didn't have to pay anywhere near that. And Thankfully, one day I'll find the hat somewhere. If not, I'll find the junker with a hat 
and I'll have it complete minty, fresh, and uh, for now, it'll be prepped for my monster display, which I will show you at some point. And uh, I appreciate your time. Thank you very much for joining me. Let me know what you think of Captain Hook. If you like it, please thumb up the video. You know, these likes and comments help these dreaded algorithms. So anything you do helps boost these videos. And if you're a lurker, by the way, do me a favor and please subscribe. That would be greatly appreciated. That also helps things. So with that, thanks again for your time. And I, my friends, will talk to you later.